Excellent news for Torvi, but frustration as well. The contest continues now, and this 15 kilogram barrel must be thrown over the wall for the greatest height. This is an event, Phil, that definitely suits you, isn't it? Yes. Um, I'm currently leading the world in the Scottish weight for height, which is a 56 pound weight, although it's thrown with one hand. This is a little different. It's definitely lighter, but I can't quite get into me between my legs like I'd like to. But I feel like I'm going to have a pretty good go, and I need it at this point because even though two competitors have fallen out, I've yet to really prove myself, I think. So I would like to have an event to give me a little confidence to go into the finals. Dougie Edmonds just checking the wall on its way up to 5 meters 75 now for Phil Martin. And if any of you are off down to the pub later, please don't try this. So Phil there, just one swing and he gets it. Looking nice and relaxed. Magnus next. There's a few shockwaves still surrounding events yesterday, but this is a much more laid back atmosphere. And certainly Magnus Samuelsson turning out to be a very intense competitor in everything he does. There's lots of talent wrapped up in a superb physique. Ooh, only just. Tristan willing it over the wall. Phil, I think you've probably unofficially broken the world record about three or four times already, but mm -hmm. it's going up to six metres. Can you do it? Oh, yeah. I feel like I have probably another metre and a half besides this. The wall getting higher and higher, so now there's no margin for error whatsoever. Oh, and Dave Webster, one of our judges, just announcing that it's six metres for another world record. Just getting rid of the excess sand. I'm not sure a couple of grains of sand would make that much difference to this guy. And here we go. Oh, it was easy. One of his best yet. And we get the biggest smile yet as well. In view of the fact Magnus has never done this event before today, he's done pretty well. Well, can I call my hike next? Yes. Ah, and Bill trying to figure out his next move. It's level pegging all the way at the moment. Two attempts are allowed at each height, but Magnus needs this one on his first to stay with Phil. Only just, it just rolled over. And Phil says, back to the drawing board, what now? 6.20 perhaps. 6.50? 6.50, that is a massive increase. Magnus, I thought you said you couldn't do this. You've just equaled the world record. I'm, I'm a fast learner, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly is. Phil has been taking part in these sort of events for years now in Highland Games, but the nearest Magnus has ever been to something like this is back on his farm chucking hay bales around. Now, a big swing from Phil. Oh, that's his first failure. So it's down to Magnus. He really could take a big advantage here if he gets it at the first attempt. Unusual physique as Magnus. It's almost as though he's only done half of the Charles Atlas course. His legs are quite thin compared to the big muscles of his chest and shoulders. And of course, his very powerful arms. The wall well over 20 feet now. Oh, it nearly crept over just like the last one. So Phil relieved, and he goes again. And Magnus just asking Kristen what went wrong this time, and Phil Martin goes straight in. Oh, not this time, and just to prove he can move fast when he wants to, getting out of the way of that barrel. So Magnus is back, and this one now to win his third event in a row. 99% of the time, this fella is very quiet, calm and relaxed. But put a physical challenge in his way, he turns into a competitive animal. That barrel, it's not that heavy, but it's awkward to swing and throw. Oh, yes! What a wonderful result for Samuelson. And Phil says, well done. I wonder what would happen if he did take up Highland Games.
Against all expectation, the Swede Magnus Samuelsson has beaten world record holder Phil Martin from the USA to take yet another first place. Congratulated by his proud girlfriend, Kristen, it seems there's no stopping him. Magnus, congratulations. Thanks. That was a fantastic performance. Now, you've done three events, yeah. and you're first World's Strongest Man, and you've not been beaten yet. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I'm surprised and happy and, very, of course, very pleased. Everything has gone really good for me so far. One event to go, then you're in the final. Right. Have you had any thoughts about that yet? Uh, no, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm happy I haven't got an injury. Survival once again. And um, um, as when the finals start, all this is wiped out and it's new events and it doesn't matter. Again, the big American hits the nail on the head. But what about the performances of the Swede? They've been gutsy, full of passion, and of course, just that once, full of drama. Thanks for tuning in to World's Strongest Man on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can catch all the up-to-date information and stay tuned on how strong and pretty I am, obviously. Don't miss it.